Oh, I hate how fast you are. I hate it! Hello? Why can't I? God. What's going on you guys and welcome back to Control. Now, we are officially done with the main game, but there's still so much to do for Jesse Faden. Now, she is of course the director of the Federal Bureau of Control, and last place we left off, she did not exactly take care of all of the hiss that have infested the bureau. Uh, what she did do was save her brother Dylan, but her brother Dylan now is in a coma. But that's still a good thing, right? I mean, he was going cuckoo bananas, and who knows, he may have been the cause of the, the destruction of the world. I don't know, you guys. So here we are with the very first DLC for this game called The Foundation. And also, unlike the DLCs for Alan Wake, these DLCs are going to, for, for Control, the DLCs for Control are going to be a little bit longer. In fact, I think the Foundation is clocked around four hours of the completion, so uh, expect a lot of videos coming for this series here. So I'm excited for this. I hope you are too. Enough with the chit chat. Uh, let's get to it. All right, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Let's go ahead and check out our map here. But before we do that, let's go and check out our missions. Uh, we have still, yeah, these are still all of our missions that we haven't completed. Now, um, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, depending on how well uh, these videos go for the DLCs, um, it, that will depend on whether or not I will showcase the completion of these side quests because you know I really just want to focus on the DLCs but if I get uh, if the videos get enough love and attention and requests for like hey let's get see some more side quests then we'll jump into that so uh, right now we're gonna focus on the foundation which we are tracking already and we got to talk to the board let's see uh, let's see what's our co uh, collectibles are though uh, final message. I remember that. Okay. And then Hedron. Yeah, I remember this too. Okay. So I don't think we need to, well, hold on. The future. This is new. I think. The hiss is removed to sound from the astral plane. Okay. You have proven, beaten the not you. We like, tolerate you very much. You are prepared, unprepared, for what comes next. We will speak again in the future. Expansion. Good work, victory, director. I like that the, the board just straight up called it an expansion. Like, it knows that this is a game. That's really cool. Okay. Let's just everything's good here, director. Darkness engulfed the elevator. Oh. It hey, it's Alan Wake! Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Oh, this is cool. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? Ooh. We should check this out. Oh, I bet you that is going to be the star for the AWE, um, the AWE DLC. How weird how it all kind of just intersects. But we're going to stick with the foundation here. So I think, no, I think we need to stay. I think we need to stay here. I'm trying to remember how to get to the hotline chamber. Could I actually get through the director's office? I thought the director's office was sealed off. Or, or there's only, oh, there is a way through. Wait, no, there isn't. I'm lost, you guys. I'm lost. Oh, wait, look, it is open. Excellent. Very excellent. Okay. Okay, we can officially use our powers again. That means watch out for the hiss. Watch out for the hiss, guys. Oh, I hear ya. 
I hear ya. Let's see who's on the other line, huh? Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. Director, situation, crisis. Uh-oh, and foundation. We demand your attention, Moxie. Oldest house is in danger. Uh-oh. We open the door, tree, and maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Problem in the foundation. Find the door. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Okay, let's head over to maintenance. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. Y'all remember this place? Oh. Why can't y'all just leave me alone, huh? Couldn't leave well enough alone. Deal with these damn chairmans. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. You thought just because I'd be gone for a while that I'd forget how to do things, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's right, I'm Jesse freaking Faden, guys. All right, let's find a store. Um, through here, I believe. Ah, there we go, Black uh, Black, uh, Black Rock. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going the right way. No need to panic, everyone. This is exactly where we need to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could climb inside that that air vent. Clearly, I could not. Okay, let's call this elevator. Oh yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Oh, it does. It actually does work this time. I think I remember. I am. I had to climb my way down. Wait, do I have to climb my way down? Is it coming up? I can't tell. Okay. Alright. Now let's just confirm this is where we need to go. Yeah, it's through. Hello? What was that? That was odd. Gotta admit, I I'm very much dig in Jesse's new threads here. It's very uh, men in black. Look at that, even her hair clip, her hair, yeah, her hair clip, it's like the astral plane. That's, that's pretty dope. Okay, there's gonna be a huge mess in here, isn't there? Oh my god, it's those things. Okay, we're gonna save. Yeah, let's do a little bit of that. And then, see where exactly we need to be going. Wait, can I fast travel? I think I could just fast travel there. Am I stupid? I can't... If, uh, I I, <laughs> I think I could have easily just fast traveled there. I hope. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasted all that time. I wasted all that time. Quiet. Transdimensional. Okay, here we are. This place really suits Ati. Find the door. It's an unmapped area. So that etching is the door. Oh. Okay. Let's try opening it. Okay. Let's try uh, opening it. Where are we going, guys? A new adventure. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> no Exciting. The board said this was an emergency. Okay. In an emergency, it shall be treated as... Okay. Let's get to it. Well, Let's get busy. Here in a while. It's a creepy looking tunnel. Gotta admit... Uh, hello? I'm just gonna carry this. Never know what might be in the corners. What's going on? 
I'm getting scared. What in the Emily world? Be a day down here. The environment's changing around. What's this? My life's been a strange Ash. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither. It's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. Northmore. The director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these takes. Was it Northmore one of the first directors, if not the first director? Father searched his entire life for something like this. And we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, we might be facing uh, Northmore. Maybe. Although, uh, he's dead. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. <laughs> Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Marshall? Unless... She's dead. Oh no, she's dead. Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Yeah, she was a badass. Or she looked like a badass. Alright. I don't know, maybe we, maybe we find... Oh no, what if she's turned into a hiss and we have to fight her? Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Oh, what is that hanging up there like a bat? Crazy bats? Oh my god! It's these things. These are tougher. They're tougher. Oh boy. You see that? They were level 7s. I mean, granted, they should be since I'm already also at that level. At least I think I'm at that level. What is that? Spores. I'll bet you they're like bombs, huh? And let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving forward, y'all. So bright. Oh. Uh, bam! Kablamo! Be my friend. Shit. Ooh, holy balls! <laughs> that was close. That's right. That's freaking right. Is that the astral plane? <gasps> How is that possible? This is worse than I oh, thought. Indeed. I need to figure out what's going on. Yes. Yes, we must. But first, let's cleanse, cleanse the control point. It's good to be back. It's good to be back here in control, you guys. It's been a while. Ah. Oh my god! Hello, can I help you? Can I help you? They are terrifying. Okay. Ow! How dare you? Oh! Oh, I hate how fast you are. I hate it! Hello? Why can't I? Piss are using pickaxes now. Oh my god. What is that? 
Is this thing gonna follow me at least? He's not gonna follow me. <laughs> He's supposed to be my friend. He's not gonna follow me. Oh my god. Yeah, these things are terrifying. It's a new, uh, new brand of hiss here. I'm actually really happy that they introduced new enemies here. A new enemy type. Because it was really getting repetitive with the main game. So it's good that there's, uh, they're mixing it up. Relocation order. Let's read this. Oh, wait. So this is the hiss sharpened. Okay. Um, go ahead and read this to your luxury. Um, uh, or pause this and read it. I'm just going to keep on moving forward. So... There we go, and um, is this it? Oh shoot, yeah, this is it. Tom, you missed good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called in all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up into the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with the ex-Nazi scientists, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. North Northmore's ordering the foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is a lo this is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is baddie if he thinks he we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We were breathing that shit in. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing they got out. Right? <laughs> or did they turn into this new brand of hiss? I think they turned into this new brand of hiss, you guys. Alright. Let's keep going. Uh, what's going on here? Hello? Beware of dangerous toxic geysers. Goodness me. Okay. Yeah, just watch out for the geysers. Okay, again, we have choices here. We could either climb up. Although, I don't think there is an actual... Yeah, there's nothing really up here. Yeah. Although, there is up there. Y'all see that? It's through here. Huh? What is through here? Ah! Wait. No. This is another one of... Am I lost? Did I just backtrack? No. No, I didn't. I did not backtrack. Keep it going. Ah, what's this? Foundation accident. Uh-oh. That's not good. How come it's not a collectible? Oh, it is. Okay, uh, Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened, it in there did a good number on our guest. The dogs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear... Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way, but we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be, be we'd be better off uh, forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subje subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony, Marcus. Okay, so we are going to uh, interact with something a little terrifying here. At least one would think. Shifting fragment. We're picking up more new materials here, and I gotta make sure that. Oh my the god. Is cutting into our dimension. Oh my this gosh. Is the It'll destroy the bureau. 
Wow. This is cool. It's... We're merging worlds. Oh my god. No! Not that thing. Got him. Now this asshole over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some of that? You like some of this? Hello? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, my, my, my aim is terrible today. Alright, we made it. We made it. Oh boy. I was hoping not to encounter those tornado fellas. They're my least favorite enemy type. Just so just cause they're so damn tough. It's alright. We made it. We made it, guys. Let's head into another deep dark cave. This is cool. I could really use my head of research right about now. This is really cool. Marshall? Marshall! Oh boy. You're alive! Oh boy. Wait! It's Jesse! The director! <laughs> I order you to cease! To freeze! Where have you gone, Marshall? Oh god. Okay, there's a save oh. point right there. This place is huge. Crossroads. Marshall? Can you hear me? She mm. was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Yeah, yeah, let's see what's going on with the pillar. But first, let's claim it! Yes. Yes. Well done, Jesse. Well done. Um... Before we do that, I want to see what this is here. Strange ass drawing. Look at this. Is that not not, not terrifying? <gasps> Wait, I recognize that. That's the freaking the one-eyed monster. Oh no, <laughs> guys, are we gonna face that thing again? Please. I always get freaking mad anxiety facing that thing, dude. Oh no. Okay. Nail door monolith is hurt. Touch revere it to enter. Repair the nail. A link to prevent astral consumption. Collision. This is a director's duty. Plot. Authorized for a single new tool. Upgrade. Ooh! Use it to save the foundation. Us. Bureau. A new power, you say? Left, self, or right weapon? Only one is permitted. Which will you choose? Become. So I can only choose one. Oh my god. I thought I was done with these tests. There can only be one. Choose the astral plane challenge? Alright. Oh! Can I observe? We'll grant fracture undo. Oh! And this one is to build, I bet, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Shape manipulate? Ooh. I can only learn one? Okay, let's, let's, learn, let's learn how to shape, because I feel like that's going to serve us more. We are tweaking, cultivating the ability. You. Complete the astral... Okay, I did it. Did I...
Run rules. Oh, dude, that's cool. I'm the first director to receive this. You should feel honored, handled. Awesome, dude. Wait, what's over this wall? Can I see what's over this wall? No? <laughs> Am I not allowed? All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got to make sure that I point the... Wait, did it break? It broke. So either way, it breaks. Interesting. Dismantle, loosen the four locks, keys, MacGuffins. Located in the fringe, nowhere of the astral plane. Going the right way, yes I am. Okay, good. <laughs> Some crystals can be shaped into dangerously sharp points. Such as that. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Gotta admit that was awesome. I love having new powers, you guys. Can you imagine if I didn't have the DLC? I would have totally missed out on these powers. Bitch. Die. Die. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Now, of course, this power can only be used, I'm guessing, it can only be used in these caves. Because where else can I see, like, these, uh, these markings? Huh? Faster. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, we did it. Excellent. Okay. Well, let's review. This broken pillar is called the nail. The nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. That's I've right. I've handled worse. That's right. This should be simple. Ish. Look at that. You with me? Jessie's become way more confident now. Not to say that she never was, but she's a lot more confident now. Uh, let's pick this up here, foundation pillar. Okay, let's check this out. On the nature of the pillar, the pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stal stal stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I am more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. I would say it's the latter. I would just guess, though. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trottier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it is an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. Astral copy? What's this? 
Um, for copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected onto entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a, a higher intelligence, such as the board, remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by a personnel. It is important to note that the, they appear immune to his corruption. Refer to file redacted for full report. I, I don't recall seeing these copies, unless they were the, the enemies in the, actual, in the actual plane, but we've seen those before, and I doubt they would mention who they are or what they are now. I don't think there were copies. Are they refer referring to an enemy we haven't yet seen? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so we have to either re we have two places to go to reach the warehouse path or reach the base camp. But before we do that, we're gonna see what's going on here. Surely there are things for us to read or collect. Ah, yes. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery, a pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. My pistol that I have right now? Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. <laughs> but it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me as about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Interesting. Interesting. I, I do like that this is more focused on kind of like the origins of the Bureau. At least, you know, origins when it comes to Northmore, who is a... You know, what I remember him as was like one of the first directors of the Bureau. So it's good having to see some history, some more lore, you know? Okay, let's go and pick this up here. Did I not pick it up? Is it behind the wall? It's behind the wall. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm gonna tear up this whole entire place until I get that. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the save point here because I am afraid that we are out of time, y'all. But let's go ahead and apply these last two abilities that we have, if I can. And we'll call it a day. Um, I, I honestly don't think I can. Let's see, can I? Can I? I can't. So we're going to have to save these. And let's just make sure also that there's nothing that we need to listen to. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that. The foundation fade in, it rides the, ele the elevator. That's really cool, man. I can't wait to actually get into the AWE DLC, which is, of course, related to Alan Wake. But we are focused right here. We are right smack in the middle of the Foundation DLC, or at least we are still in the beginning parts of it, which is not a problem because, again, I realize that these, these DLCs are a little bit longer than the ones featured in Alan Wake. 
that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned as we continue on this really twisted and really interesting somewhat origins story DLC here called The Foundation. Uh, but until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to smash that like. And if you're new to the channel, you know what to do, you guys. Be sure that you are subscribed as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video. And that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL, and I will see you in the next video.